the Mandela Catalog. Alternates. Explained. Alternates are major antagonists in the Mandela Catalog series. They are a mysterious, hive-mind species that plan to eradicate humans by mainly driving their victims to exit game themselves. Overview The alternates are malevolent and mysterious humanoid creatures with the ability to shapeshift, which they use to mimic human beings. Their true form appears as a vaguely humanoid silhouette with white eyes. They use this mimicry to blend in with normal humans while they hunt down the person whose form they have copied so they can get rid of them. Once they have found and cornered their victim, alternates will use psychological warfare to convince that person to exit game. Their methods of doing so are unclear thus far, but it's implied that by speaking to their victims in a certain tone or about certain topics, alternates can inflict metaphysical awareness disorder on them, driving their targets insane. They have also been shown to use brute force to PvP as well. Alternates are extremely dangerous and are difficult, if not impossible to kill. Although PSAs and police recommended calling 911 and using firearms against alternates as a last resort, this is a facade to reduce the chance of mass panic. 911 operators and police have been secretly instructed to tell anyone reporting an alternate attack that help is on the way but then leave them at the hands of an alternate because nothing is worth the risk. Alternates have existed for thousands of years, dating as far back as the biblical era. The earliest known alternate was one posing as the Archangel Gabriel, who foretold the coming of Jesus Christ. Types of Alternates Type 1. Doppelganger Type 1 alternates known as doppelgangers are a type of alternate whose appearance is almost identical to the human or form they take. They are very hard to determine from the human counterparts, minus slight changes in hair or facial expression. Doppelgangers can start off as a plain base before mimicking a human. Alex Kister has stated that this plain base is pitch dark, similar to N. Though not fully confirmed, a third name for doppelgangers could be complete assimilations as seen in Interlude. Type 2. Unspeakable. Previously known as detectable, unspeakables are the second category of alternates. Not much more is known about them compared to other types of alternates, so it's safe to assume unspeakables at least have the same abilities as other alternates. We do know that Gabriel is an unspeakable alternate so we can base some features on the abilities Gabriel is shown to possess. They are seemingly immortal due to being present in both the biblical days and the present day. Gabriel appears to be able to dispose of victims physically, unlike other alternates as shown in Volume 4 when Dave is disposed of when he was no longer needed. Type 3. Flawed Impersonators. Type 3 alternates, known as flawed impersonators or overdriven assimilations are a type of alternate whose forms are noticeably different from their human counterpart. Their forms are usually described as having missing or elongated features and discolored skin tones. For that reason, they are much easier to identify than doppelgangers or unspeakables. A notable alternate of this kind is the Preacher First shown in the Mandela Catalog Volume 2. Type 4. Tulpa. The Tulpa are a type of alternate classified as Type 4. They are alternates willed into existence by the imagination of a person, most typically children, who have watched the might of the subconscious. It is unknown if the might of the subconscious is the only source of Tulpas in universe, but for them to have gained their own designation, it seems unlikely for this to be the case.